Hi, everyone, and thanks for joining us. My name is Linda Fang, and I'm a software architect with Unicon. I'm here to talk about LTI Advantage, which is a package of new extensions for the IMS Global Learning Consortium Tools Interoperability Standard, or LTI for short. Over the past several years, the IMS LTI standard has made it possible for the innovative proliferation of learning tools. It's been successful out there because it provides a standard way for tools to be launched from multiple learning platforms. And that way it allows teachers and students to have a seamless integrated experience. LTI Advantage is a step in the progression of the LTI standard. So the version of LTI that's been the most widely adopted is 1.1. And that version's been in the market for five or six years now. There's been a couple of other LTI versions that the IMS community had been working on. Namely, there was an LTI 1.2 and also a 2.0 specification. And one of the reasons why the LTI 1.1 was so widely adopted is because it is a simple and straightforward standard. Over the last few years, IMS members were aware of a market need to adopt OAuth 2 for authenticating services along with JSON web tokens for secure message signing. And during that analysis, it was determined that the architecture for LTI 2 was not the most suitable basis for upgrading. So it was decided to build that updated security model on 1.1 instead. So this rev of 1.1 to include the new security model is being labeled 1.3. So what does that mean? It means that LTI 1.2 and 2.0 are being designated as legacy specifications. That is, they'll be supported and recertified, but not on the recommended upgrade path. And the recommended LTI upgrade path is from 1.1 to 1.3. Most of the major LMS platforms, such as Blackboard, D2L, Canvas, Moodle, and Sakai, are currently working on support for 1.3, and they'll be encouraging all their partners to upgrade to 1.3 as soon as possible. And because security and student privacy are so essential, it's likely that 1.3 is going to become a requirement for tool integrations where sensitive and personally identifiable information is exchanged. So what makes 1.3 better than 1.1? There's a few reasons for this recommended upgrade path. One of the major reasons is the modernized security model. And then the other is the idea of having different services layered on top of a core LTI launch mechanism. That's going to allow a new set of richer interactions that can happen between tools and platforms. So in 1.3, IMS moved the security framework into a separate model so that current and future LTI specifications can be updated independently of the security model. That way, as security mechanisms evolve, it won't cause the new specifications to have to change. LTI incorporates the use of OAuth 2 and JSON Web Tokens into LTI. There's also a goal to follow the OpenID Connect flow as closely as possible. This makes security updates much more modern, standard, and easy to implement because there are existing vetted code libraries that can be used. This means, too, that from now on, all the communication will happen using JSON and not XML. But the real improvement, the real major difference between LTI 1.1 and 1.3 is the use of LTI extensions. Extensions complement the LTI core. It's an additive set on top of the existing LTI implementation. And that set of extensions grouped together is called LTI Advantage. If you've worked with 1.1 before, you'll recognize much of the same functionality. The difference is that some of the capabilities can now be implemented as separate services. You'll also notice that things have been renamed slightly to better reflect the underlying capabilities. So the idea with those extension services is that they can layer functionality onto LTI and they can be enabled or disabled independently of each other. And these services are going to evolve outside of the LTI specification and more services are expected in the future. So let's take a deeper look at the three extensions that are available now. 
The Names and Role Provisioning Service enables retrieving lists of course participants, groups, and roles in a more easy and controlled way. In other words, the extension communicates defined groups to learning tools. This extension was previously called the Membership Service. Then there's the Assignment and Grade Service. This one is designed to send and receive grades between a tool and a learning platform like the LMS. This extension was previously called the Outcome Service. And finally, the third extension is the Deep Linking Service. And this extension provides capabilities to add content and links between learning tools, publisher content, and the LMS. And this was previously called Content Item in LTI 1.1. Let's talk about a real use case for upgrading from LTI 1.1 to 1.3. One of the projects we worked on was for Cengage, who had an integration that was previously between their system and LMSs that due to the limitations of LTI 1.1, they had to use specific APIs for each different LMS. So they were sending grades using LMS specific APIs, and if an instructor wanted to add an activity or a lesson, they had to copy paste those links manually. With LTI 1.3, they then had a standard ability to do that grade exchange to more than one LMS, and also meant that they could decouple tracking results or outcomes from the originating launch. You can read more about this project and how Unicon and Cengage work together on this in the IMS app note, which is posted on the IMS website. So some tips for achieving LTI Advantage certification. The main path to certification is through the IMS certification test suite, which is available on the IMS website. LTI Advantage is publicly available. However, you do have to be an IMS Global member to get access to some of the tools like the reference implementation. If you do have the chance to use that reference implementation, it's actually very useful um, and can save you a lot of time uh, when you're getting yourself ready for certification. Also, you should start with LTI 1.3 core. That's gonna be your prerequisite for doing any of the LTI Advantage services. And then depending on your tool, you can pick and choose from which ones of those services are gonna be relevant for you, and you can build them in the order that you're gonna need them to work for your tool. Finally, you'll also want to follow community members like Dr. Chuck Severance. He just announced that he has an MVP of LTI 1.3 and LTI Advantage that's built for Sakai with certification just around the corner. If you want to know more, please feel free to reach out to someone here at Unicon. We're focused on education technology consulting and digital services, and we're here to help. We've worked with lots of schools and companies in the edtech space. We have deep expertise in standards-based integrations, including IMS, LTI, Caliper, OneRoster, and LIS. And thanks for stopping by to learn about LTI Advantage. It's an important new step in the progression of IMS's LTI standard, and it's a key part of our standards-based integration specialization. You can go to the IMS website to find out more about LTI Advantage. Then check us out at our website to learn more about our capabilities for integration and to contact us. And follow us on Twitter at Unicon. We'll be sharing news and updates there when we have additional videos and resources.